authority. Here's Dr. Athena Masson, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Mother Nature is not quite getting the memo that it is mid-September. We should be at least seeing some fall temperatures right on our doorstep. Instead, we're dealing with summer-like temperatures still, reaching up to a high of 95 degrees for today. At least our average and our low temperatures are the same for this time of the year. Record setback 2017 at 104 degrees. Now looking out to the north of San Angelo, beautiful evening if you do have plans, even a gorgeous moon out if you want to capture some photos. Currently 77 degrees, not doing too bad. Humidity at 45 percent. Winds now approaching very light from the southeast at three miles per hour. Now, yesterday, speaking of that moon, if you did get a chance to go outside, not only was it a full harvest moon, but it occurred on Friday the 13th. So a little bit of a preparation for October that is on the way with Halloween. This one sent in by Cami of Dallas Fort Worth, and then just this morning, this one sent in by Dennis King of the moon starting to set at around 7:30 this morning. So if you did not check out that full moon on Friday the 13th, the next time that you will see a full moon on Friday the 13th won't be until 2049. Temperatures across the Concho Valley, most of us are in the 70s. Still, the heat continues to linger for Brady at 81 degrees, 77 for Junction, Menard, upwards towards Eden, and not doing too bad for our western counties. 79 in Ozona, 78 for Big Lake, as well as. Mertzen. Texas satellite and radar just off to our west. We have this trough of low pressure, and right behind it, we'll check out all that cooling rain. So, from some for Arizona as well as New Mexico, unfortunately, this trough of low pressure is not going to be moving eastward. It is stationary out there. Instead, Texas, we have to deal with this high pressure system. But Let's shift our gears over to the Gulf. We do have a tropical disturbance, and we are seeing a little bit of a counterclockwise rotation with this. Right now, over the next five days, it has about a 30% chance of development. Now, it will follow this high pressure system and move westward. So, if it does develop, Texas along the coastlines, definitely keep your eyes open because we might be dealing with some of those, some rain increasing over the next few days. But for now, upper level weather pattern, we have this ridge of high pressure that continues to be in our area by tomorrow, still situated right on top of us, and it's not going to move very much for this next week. By Tuesday, in even off into Wednesday, finally pushing away just slightly to the east. And this will allow for maybe a couple isolated showers to pop up in the Concho Valley. But for the most part, expect a very hot and dry week. Put this into perspective, we should be at 88 for this time of the year. Once again, rising on up, 95 degrees for tomorrow. Then an increase, 96 by Monday. Hottest day of the week could possibly be Wednesday at 97 degrees. Now, speaking of the tropics, we do have tropical storm right off of the coast of Florida. This is tropical storm Umberto and parts of the northern Bahama Islands that were just impacted by Dorian, currently under a tropical storm warning. Good news, this will stay primarily offshore, but will strengthen than over the next few days. Currently, it's 60 mile per hour winds, but could even become a category two hurricane by midweek. For tonight, 66 degrees, lowering down to some pleasant south southeast winds, five to 10 miles per hour, but rising on up 95 degrees, seven degrees above average for this time of the year for tomorrow. Looking at your seven day forecast, lots of sunshine. We do have a slight chance of some precipitation Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but expect well above average temperatures for this time of the year. And time now for this day in weather history. On September 14, 1988, thunderstorms produced severe weather over the Texas Panhandle during the evening hours, even spawned a strong F2 tornado southwest of Amarillo. The heavy rain was so heavy at times that it even flooded roads upwards of five feet. We'll have more after the.